Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out to be gentle with yourself. Seeing why you are placed in the situations you are uh, placed in and seeing that our purpose goes higher than we can ever imagine. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl is uploading her next videos. Also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, how it impacted your life, and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or a friend, family friend, or just a fellow empath that's going through some really dark times right now that needs some understanding, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me each and every video. And the vibes you've been sending is greatly appreciated, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today... I'm using the meditation from Love Motive Meditation Music. It's called Achieve Whatever You Want. Super State of Meditation Quantum Connection Magic. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, a source is making you free your mind from what no longer serves you. <laughs> yes, they definitely are. It's been crazy. They've been putting you in situations as well as I been getting put in situations that you, that really makes you step back and analyze every aspect of your being anything that you can reflect on whether it's you know your habits your thought patterns how you project things how you receive things how you respond to things who are the people you hang out with what unhealthy things you're putting in your body and everything just anything in your surroundings they have you releasing what no longer serves you and you know i would love for y'all to go ahead and drop me a line about that if you've been you know really looking at every aspect of your life like you could be you know wanting to have the friends that you have and don't like being alone but then you start noticing the patterns they're doing they might be reflecting out things that are not even on your level anymore um, doing things that doesn't even you know guide in towards your past you know that it could be you're, you're hanging around people that gossip a lot that talk about other people you know you have to really think about stuff like that when you can see other people gossiping and talking about other people who's to say they're not doing that to you with other people you know and it's just like you're trying to manifest things into your life you're trying to see things for what they are you know you're being empathetic towards everything around you seeing things for what they truly are nobody's perfect you know we're all here on this earth and learning and growing you know um we are not our past our past is what made us but you know um we can't be doing the things that we have done like last year or either last week um or last 10 15 years from you know ago we we're like manifesting bigger and better things and for you to be able to do that there's a lot of things you're gonna have to let go of you know it's like you i know you've probably seen the post when they say if god's asking you to put something down it's because he has something bigger and better for you to pick up and it's really true because if we want the things that we want in life we have to be willing to sacrifice and let go of things you know put ourselves in that higher perspective seeing ourselves in places we never thought we could ever imagine of being in um be able to reflect on why we're going through the things we're going through and i don't know i must be up on something good because there goes that light again flashing going towards my face um and the energy is really high right now and you know i love it when my energy is high like this so i can be able to you know vibrate that on to you um being able to share that you know is a beautiful feeling knowing i mean i've been going through hell for the last 24 48 hours and I said, you know what, bump this. I'm not going to continue to feel this way. You know, universe has you reflecting on things where it can really put you in a dark spot. And it's not, that's not the intentions that they're having you do. But us being in our human form, we tend to get that way. You know, when you can be able to see things and it, especially if it's something very sensitive to you, it can put you in a negative space. <laughs> it really can. You know, it has me looking at things like, you know, 
my dad's anniversary is coming up. A close friend of mine who passed away, you know, nine years ago, her birthday was just a few days ago. And then I got to turn around and deal with another best friend because they both died like six months apart in the same year. I mean, which was crazy. They were both my closest friends. And it was like when I moved to the South, I ended up losing them. Not, you know, one died in April and one died in October. And that was just really crazy for me. And, I, you know, and those are the closest people I have that, you know, it impacted my life in a way. And it was just like, wow, you know, I'm going through so much right now. And it's just like, you know, but a, a blessing and a gift that I have is like when I'm able to, you know, speak to my loved ones that are past, I can still hear them in my head talking to me and like, hey, you know, we're still with you. You know, them sending confirmations to let me know that they're still here, you know, even though they're in a different form. So that's a blessing within itself as well. But it has me really like reflecting on things. God told God, I, I really don't know you know, how I'm going to feel about this year coming up because my dad's anniversary is on the 21st of April. And it's just like, you know, I hope to have answers by then. I hope we find out who was the cause of his death because there's nobody being held responsible for that. You know, why did this have to happen to my dad? My dad lo was loved by so many people, you know, and it was a really hurtful thing to actually see my dad going through it, you know. Um, seeing that I have some family members that are, you know, working hard to get that justice for my dad, which is a blessing. Being able to see people that still, you know, listen to his music. They push out a lot of different links towards different videos of his music that he has out there in the world. And, you know, seeing all these different beautiful pictures, especially the ones I haven't seen before, is very heart touching, but it's sad at the same time. Because it's like, you know, I know many people, he's impacted people's lives in different ways and they hurt you know, for knowing that my dad has passed, but when it comes to, you know, the actual children, you know, that's just, that's a lot. <laughs> that's really a lot to have to deal with. So it is just like going through so many different things, knowing, you know, I had to go through this tragic situation, but then it, it's just like, this situation has got me to know myself in levels I never thought I would be able to. Um, being able to make videos, of heartbreaking situations but has made some pro positive impacts in my life towards where I've helped many people that are struggling through different things to let you know you're stronger than you realize you have to put faith in yourself on things you cannot see that's what faith is all about um, knowing better days are coming you know even though you be put in a dark situation knowing there's always a purpose behind your pain that you're experiencing knowing um, your story on your situation you're going through might help Im unimprison somebody else that's going through their situation. When I can just look at all the situations I've been in and being able to be vulnerable with y'all, being able to be open up in places I never thought I'd be able to open up to because it's a, a dark situation I've experienced in my life to where I would not wish on, that on my worst enemy. Being able to help people in ways that I never thought I would be able to do. You know, like I've told y'all before, if you've been with me for a while, I, I mean, since I was a little girl, since I was four years old, I always told my mom I wanted to help impact the world, being able to put smiles on people's faces, being able to help them understand why they had to go through the things that they went through. And that's a beautiful blessing to me, um, being able to have people come back and tell me, saying, Rosalind, you really impacted my life. Um, you really helped me put my life into a perspective to, where I can understand why I had to go through the things I had to go through. And it's a beautiful feeling um, to be able to help people in that way. And, you know, I said I try not to cry about stuff like that because it really warms my heart. That when people have gone through things and they're always like, why me? Why do I have to go through, the, through these things? And at the end of the day is when you have gone through it, you can make sense of it. It's like your pain has made you stronger. Things have been snatched away from you for you not to take things for granted. Knowing that even though you're not in a place that you want to be, you're grateful for everything that is around you because it could be a lot worse. And it just really makes me grateful that I'm able to do the things that I do. Being able to help people see the light inside of them when it's been so dark for so long. You know, um, being able to do that really has humbled me a lot. 
it makes me feel blessed to be able to help others like that, you know, because there's many a days I ask, why did I have to go through this? Why did I have to have my father taken away from me? To be able to do this, and it, it just took a mighty heartbreak for you to be able to impact the world in a way you never thought you would be able to. And it makes me very humble and blessed that, you know, even though I had to pay a tragic price, it has made a big difference in life. And I know, you know, for that, it's going to be, I'm going to have blessings bound upon measures I never ever dreamed of having so it is just like when you know you know the universe source is making you put down a lot of things and make you really look at things deeper than you then just on that 3d 3d level it can really humble you so it is just like never take life for granted because there's people are struggling to breathe every day that has illnesses that they would trade places with you in a heartbeat if they could, you know, um, being able to be grateful, even though you're not where you want to be right now, you might not have everything you want in life, but you have enough to get by. So it is just like the pain that we are feeling right now it is, is going to put you in places that you never thought you would be able to be in. So I'm about to cut this, this, this this short because I know I'm about to get really emotional and I hate doing that on camera. So I will see you on my next video. Much love y'all. Peace. Be wild.